to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and I'm coming to you from Magoosh. Um, today we're starting a new video series based on um, some blog posts that are in the GMAT, our GMAT Magoosh blog. And actually this came at the request of uh, one of our students. Hello, Wally out there. Um, and so what we're going to talk about, or the way to think about this, is we're going to call this series Real World Matters. And what we're going to talk about is not actually things you're tested explicitly on the GMAT, but things that are that might pop up on the GMAT in a reading comprehension passage or in a critical reasoning argument. These are concepts and ideas that kind of are pervasive in our contemporary time. And we'll look at economics, we're going to look at science, technology. Today we're looking at medicine, and specifically uh, experiments um, in medical treatments. Um, and so some key words that we're going to go over that you should take away from this video are treatment, control, placebo, placebo effect, and double-blinded, double-blinded, excuse me, that should be double-blind, <laughs> design. Did I spell it right here? Yes. Okay, so um, again, these are not concepts that you're tested on. They just happen to show up sometimes. And it's nice to be familiar with them because it's going to make it easier to navigate those reading passages and deal with uh, maybe something that's pretty complex. Um, and so if you have a handle on some of these basic concepts, then it's just going to diffuse some of that stress and anxiety. So um, here is our hypothetical situation. There is a miracle weight loss drug that is now on market, and they say that you can lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Crazy. It's crazy. But how do you know if that's true? How can we decide if that's true or not? Well, we run experiments. Experiments are a great way to find things out. And you might think, well, hey, let's uh, take our miracle drug. It's this blue and orange thing. I tried to make it look like a pill. Um, I am not an artist, as you can tell. Um, but so you can imagine, well, let's just get a group of people, give it to them, and see what happens. And we see, oh, two people lost weight. So it's working, kind of, sort of. It's sort of working. But that's not a very good experiment. Uh, there's a lot of variables. There's lots of things that we need to account for. And to really know if something is effective, we have to have a treatment group and a control group. So the treatment group, they get the actual drug in this case. They're going to get the miracle weight loss drug. The other group of people are going to get a placebo. And a placebo is basically a pill that does nothing. Usually it's made from sugar. Um, and it's innocuous, it's not gonna hurt you, and it's just so that you are giving a thing to another group of people. So both groups of people are getting something. One is the drug, one is not the drug. And then you hold all other things the same. So you make sure you know they, their diet is the same, make sure they're sleeping the same amount of hours each uh, night, and you make sure that everyone is exercising the same. Um, so that the only difference between these two groups is the drug that they're taking. And after 10 days, you look at the result and you see, oh, look, the people who took the drug, they lost some weight. But look over here in our control group, someone actually lost weight. How did that happen? Well, that is what we call the placebo effect. Um, the placebo effect comes from the fact that when you get a group of people together and they sit in front of a scientist or a doctor or a researcher and they say, hey, I've got this magic pill and if you take it, it's going to make you feel better, it's going to make you lose weight, it's going to heal you. Um, there's actually something that triggers in our mind that can cause us to be healed or to lose weight um, or to feel better. So this placebo effect is a psychological effect that people experience um, when taking a placebo drug. So like a sugar pill. So you might take the sugar pill and actually lose weight in this study. Um, one possible reason for this is that the researcher might know, hey, I'm giving this group the drug, I'm giving these people the placebo drug, and that can actually affect the outcome as well. If this person, the scientist or researcher, suddenly is indicating, maybe doesn't say anything, but just, you know, their face, and their body language can convey a lot of information. And if it conveys that, hey, you're getting the drug that's really helping lots of people, 
then you might see false results. Um, and so people in this group might actually lose weight when, and it's due to the placebo effect and not actually due to the drug that they're taking. So um, the way that medical science has dealt with these issues is to come up with the double blind test or double blind design. And so what that means is it's double blinded because the researcher or the scientist or a doctor is blind and the people taking the drug are blind as well. And not physically blind, it means they just don't know whether they got the placebo or the real drug. So what you need is you need two researchers. Um, one researcher puts pills into like cups and numbers them and then keeps track of all those numbers and then leaves, he disappears and he takes his chart with him. Then a new researcher comes, has no idea what's in the cups, takes the cups, distributes it to the two groups again, your treatment group, your control group, um, and actually, this picture doesn't indicate exactly what would be happening. You'd probably just have these people in a line, and the researcher would just make note of who took what numbered pill, and then only until later would you find out, after he discusses with his research partner, who got what. And so you don't decide who's the treatment group and who's the control group at the beginning. You actually don't figure that out till the very end. So this picture is a little deceptive. I apologize. Um, and then in the end, so now they take their pill, 10 days later you look and you see, oh look, one person who was taking the drug lost weight, but two people who took the placebo lost weight. So maybe the miracle weight loss drug is not as effective as the advertisements claim. Okay, so you should have a better idea of treatment, control, placebo, placebo effect, and double blind design now that you watch this video. Um, so hopefully this makes it a little bit easier when you're reading through maybe a complicated uh, passage about medicine and you'll be able to at least understand these concepts that pop up um, in the passage. Well, be excellent to the universe. If you have any questions or comments or you want more of these types of videos, please let us know. Uh, leave us some comments down below this video. And I'll be back here next Tuesday answering questions and helping you with the GMAT.